Hey there everyone, Kelsey here with ToyNotes.com and welcome back. Make sure you hit subscribe so you can be along for the ride while I play with our new Stargazer Lottie doll. So Stargazer Lottie, this is from, I'm going to slaughter this, Arclue, the Toymaker's Arclue. It's rated for kids three and older and she's a little red-headed gal with her telescope. Looks like she belongs to a Lottie collection and it comes with solar system collection cards. So I'm excited to get this opened. I've never played with a doll quite like this one. So let's go ahead and pull her out of her package. That way we can get right down to playtime. Okay, so our little stargazer Lottie is all out of the package, and she was fairly easy. Um, one thing that I didn't mention that I noticed on the box when I started opening it was um, it, this little tag here says award winner for positive role model and age appropriate body shape. And it says, what makes Lottie special? Lottie has a childlike body developed by British academics. She doesn't wear makeup, jewelry, or heels. And best of all, she can stand on her own two feet. An invaluable life skill for all girls, big and small. And I'm going to extend that to boys as well. I like this toy already because I feel like that kind of positive movement in toys is really beneficial because how do, how do children learn the best when they're young is but through play. So Lottie's very cool. Um, she's dressed very adorably. She has very nice hair, easy to open. She has removable clothing. And yes, she does stand on her own. She also came with a couple of accessories. I'm not really sure. I think this is a scarf. And then she also has her little hat. Look at that. Um, the solar system cards were in here as well as the telescope which I have to put together and this little package insert which talks about learning more about space and astronomy with the ESA, the European Space Agency. So let's go ahead and have you guys come in for the closer look. I'm going to put the telescope together so that we can all play together. Okay guys, so we're going to do a quick closer look looking at our beautiful Stargazer Lottie doll. She came with a scarf and a hat. She has several of these little doll sized cards for each of the planets. We've got Mercury, Jupiter, Saturn, all the planets are there. She has her little telescope which was put together fairly easily. And the doll herself has um, clothes that are removable. She stands on her own, as you can see. She's got nice hair. And the biggest thing about this doll is that she has an age-appropriate body figure. So she's promoting healthy body image for young girls. Um, and it's more appropriate. She's supposed to be a little girl, so she's built like a little girl. She can stand on her own. She's not wearing tons of makeup um, or high heels or overtly dressed. Um, it's just a little girl who enjoys learning about space. And then the package insert actually had some really cool fun facts about um, people, women particularly, who went to space and directed kids to the European Space Agency to learn more about astronomy. I think the only thing that for me that's missing with this set is I kind of wish that there were some larger size cards, astronomy cards, like the doll sized ones, but had like little fun facts on the back um, about each of the planets and things like that. Just because I think they're in the right direction encouraging education and encouraging exploration into fields like astronomy, but fall short just a little bit on the education portions of it because there isn't really anything there that's like, oh cool, this is what I learned with my Stargazer Lottie doll. You know, I, I just think that that probably would have added a lot. So let's go to final review on the Stargazer Lottie doll and we'll sign off for the day. Well guys, that's it for me today and my good friend Lottie, our Stargazer doll.
I hope you guys enjoyed playing with her and getting to look at her a little bit closer with me. And I can't personally wait until I've collected all of these dolls. I think they're great and it incorporates a different element to playtime with dolls that we haven't really thought of until recent years, which is, hey, why not include some kind of learning or positive motion with it? Like, hey, learn about astronomy. The stars are cool and you can do it with your best friend. So guys, if you haven't gotten enough playtime yet, make sure you check us out at toynotes.com where I have lots of reviews, lots of playtime, and honestly, just a good time. Also, make sure that you give us a subscribe and a big thumbs up because I'd love to see you guys back. And comment below if you guys have had a chance to play with Lottie and what your thoughts on her. On her. Until next time, guys. See you soon.